So let's give you an analogy to something you might understand. Google's a company. They have shares. How many Google shares do you get for your dollar? Not very many. Depends on the price of the shares. Price changes all the yeah. time, right? Yeah. Right. Same for Hex. So your USD price of shares changes all the time. If the USD price of Hex goes up, shares cost more. If the USD hex price of Hex goes down, shares cost less. Okay. And that's it. Now. That's 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 easy enough. Yep. Now there's two things, two things, which add to that equation. When you buy Google shares, there is no mechanism for you to lock your shares to get extra shares for your money, where you get more shares if you lock longer. In Hex, there is. So in Hex, you can only buy Hex shares with Hex. So okay. Google shares, you can buy with dollars. Hex shares, you can only buy with Hex. And how do you buy a Hex share? You mint it from thin air. And how do you mint it from thin air? by locking your hex. The longer you lock, the larger you lock, the more shares you get. You get 20% extra every year that you lock up to a max of 10 years. And you can you know, lock up to 15 if you wanna enjoy not having to relock at a worse, weight, uh, a worse rate five years later. And the price to get shares in hex always increases in hex terms every day or two. So the USD price can go up and down, but the price in hex can only go up. And that's how we simulate compounding interest. Okay. So the price yeah. of shares in exactly. US dollars goes ups and down. The price in hex only goes up. And uh, if you lock longer or larger, you get more bonus shares and that's it.